Guns vs. Bangs there, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of a Lego Star Wars Republic gunship. And, um, yeah, this set, big, I, I, this set comes with seven minifigures, and, um, it retails for £110, and it's definitely worth it. And today I'm going to be showing you why it's worth £110. So, first of all, let's start with the first minifigure, and that is the Clone Pilot. It's a very nice figure. A nice printing. Oh, he's got a little mark on his helmet. He's got the public symbol there. Especially um, the episode two clone trooper, but with um, a yellow marking on. Yeah, it's very nice. Of course, he's got the same head, but his torso is a bit different. As you can see, he's got like a breathing mask there, but the back is the same. And he comes with one of those um, small glasses. So, next figure is in the clone captain, if that's what he's called. Let me just check. Yep, he's called the clone captain. Um, he's got one of these really crappy um, rifles with the long bit on the end, which is really horrible. Yeah, he's a very nice figure. He's got this some red marking on his face, which makes him very nice. Very nice colour. I like this red. Yeah, he's got the same face. It's also slightly different, he's got four red dots in there, I suppose. I guess nice to show his captain. But yeah, he's basically the same, but with some red markings on him. It's a very nice figure, again. Next up is, um, Padman. I haven't got Padman before, so. This is, um, a set. All these figures um, are new apart from the Super Battle Droids. But they're not, like, never super, never, um, before seen, but they're all kind of redesigned. But um, there's a very nice figure. She got the rip there from when she was in the arena. But I believe it was called the Nexu that ripped um her shirt. And of course, she got those scratch marks on the back. Very accurate to the movie. And um, that's very realistic. The hair is very good. And um, she has a double-sided head. That's her normal face. And that's her extremely happy face. Probably after she just made out of Anakin, probably her face then. <laughs> but um, yeah. Sorry, if I have to speak, speak a bit quietly because um, my dad's asleep. But then the next minute figure is Anakin, the Padawan version. He's got the Padawan brown Padawan robes on, and he's got his Padawan braid there. It's a very nice figure. I haven't, I haven't got an Anakin in um, this form before. I got loads of the, I got tons of the Clone Wars versions, but I haven't got an um, Episode Two version. If you're wondering why it's a green lightsaber, it's because in Episode Two, and when he enters the droid factory, and um, the machine droid factory cuts his lightsaber in half, and then in the arena, around the Jedi just gives him a green one. So yes, I may do the green one until he gets back to Coruscant. If you're wondering why he has a green one, next is Obi Wan. Again, a very nice figure. He's, hit, he's got his um, episode 2 hair, like the long hair from episode 2. Um, probably um, his worst haircut, you know. It doesn't really matter, but he's got his standard Jedi robes on, his Jedi Master robes. And um, I don't I think he's got double sided face, but he might have. Oh, he does. He has his um, old crap Anakin's done something in his own face, and his usual face. Yeah, that's everyone. Next, um, we've seen these guys loads of times before. You get um, two super battle droids. I would have preferred one super battle droid and one of those new um, Geonosian battle droids, but Lego didn't include that for some reason. That would have been much better if you've got um, one of those and a super. Still include one super battle droid, but maybe add one of those Geonosian ones. Or even, as you're going to see, there's a speeder in this. I reckon you should have taken it out of the gunship and then put the Kandu on the speeder. Made it realistic, so you can link it up with your um, is it the Gene Asian Starfighter set, so you can have two of those, as in the movie there, attacking the gunship. Yeah, and you do get two. Anyway, now on to the set. And here is the set. Um, it's a very nice set, I love the set, it's really good. I'm going to start from the front and make my way to the back. So at the front, you do have some, some detail here, you do some wall types which do move all the way around, like so. 
Well, it's Paul Turrets and there's some nice green here. It's very nice. And at the top, we have um, two cockpits. You can fit two people in there, but I just try to put, put um, one person in there. I'm just going to put the pilot in there quickly. Take his weapon off. You can store um, the weapons in a place. I'll show you at the end because it's at the back where you can store weapons. And um, it really fits in there nicely. You can, yeah, it's just said you can fit two, but I just prefer to put and uh, leave him in there. If you have another clone pilot in your collection, I recommend um, that you um, put them in there. Put me over one. If you have another one, and um, here is the side. It opens on both sides, by the way. It's easy to open. You just pull it out and push it up. Then here you get um, a little missile storage area. Uh, there's coming four, but the two that you're supposed to put on the sides, I put um, at the top. Simply because there's no point having them in here, might as well have them where the missiles are fired. So I just left those two in there. You know, the spares. But also, I would have rather had a, like a command center or something in there. Or one of those mini speeders you got in the turbo tank. And it does them slot very nicely back into there. It's easy to store. Oh. See, it's easy to slot back in there. And you just close the door. There you go. Easy. And there's a little um, bit here, which is empty. You can put um, a minifigure in here. The box suggests that you put a me there, but you can do whatever you want with this area here. And um, anyway, uh, just to show you yeah, this other side that's open. And uh, as you can see, you can get it from both sides. And also, there's a sticker detail here with the Republic symbol. And um, there are a bubble tarts on each side, as you can see here. They do move all the way. You can store them inside the ship as well. That's why the door doesn't close completely, because you can store the bubble shield in there. But um, I recommend you leave them out. If you do take them all the way out, they do like move all the way around here, up and down, right to left. And you can have a big one there. Let's quickly show you that. Full stem like that. And then um, you can put your clone captain inside there. Just getting them in position, there we go. You can fit the clone captain. It's a bit um, tricky getting them in. There we go. He's in there. And you close it back up. And there you go, you have them. Um, your turret man. There's a turret on either side. I just decided to use this side. If anyway, um, there are some storage compartments up here, two on each side. But um, oh, they're a bit hard to open. I use two hands. There you go. And there's space in there for whatever you want. Oh, there's another place you can put weapons, which is better. But I just thought they'd include those boxes there. And then the other stores. Do you open it on either side? You um, go back to reveal it all, or you can um, hold it in if you don't want it. Um, if you don't want it um, exposed, I always keep it folded in. You still have not see in, but just keep it folded in anyway. And um, inside there, there is a little box as you can see. From inside that box, you can take it out easily. There is something inside this box. It is. There's a holocron. Just a nice little addition I Lego added to the set. And it's better than nothing. And the holocron just goes back in there. And if you don't want the holocron in there, you can store other things in there. But they just thought they'd include that. I should open the door to put it in easier. Oh, there we go. And there. Sorry. Sorry, you still need to look for like 10 seconds, but I was just putting the thing back. Anyway, now onto the wings. There's a little um, bit in here which you can store people in. Just open it up. Um, just for the sake of demonstration, I'll put Padme in there. I'm just getting her in position. And it literally just sit in there. And it closes up, and you have them sewing in like. Kind of like a command centre, but not really. And there's one on either side. 
course this whole thing is symmetrical so whatever's on one side will be on the other like the bubble shields that all the turrets are all on the same like on, all on opposite sides now let's get on to um, the top here Ooh. just focusing there you go um, you do get um, these bits here these are purely for decoration you just don't do anything um, usually there are some pieces you put in here to make it sturdier but I forgot to put them in so they're a bit wobbly they shouldn't really be this wobbly but because I forgot to do that um, I didn't bother to make the wind those bits again so I just left it like that because it doesn't really do much it just makes it a bit more wobbly um, also at the top here there are some missiles you can flick them which I'll show to you now as I said um, there is not supposed to be a missile here and here but I took the missiles from that thing in there and put them up there because I think one that looks better and two what's the point of having missiles stored away when you can put them in here so yeah, if you want to fire them don't leave them like that push them up a little bit just don't damage your hands so what you can do is you can just go bing oh two and one thing bing 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 yeah you can't get quite that you can just flip them all off and um, they do go back into place very easily like so back in there so I don't lose them and I'll just pause that and put them all sorry about that guys I just don't want to lose any missiles but yeah it's, it's um, very satisfying just putting up and going bing 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 and that's very cool instead of just having one lousy missile and before I show you what's in here this bit is like a turret and it moves them let's move left to right oh, let's move left to right and up and down so yeah that's like it that's also in the um, about front game, that bit's on there. And also, um, there's a little storage compartment here, which I put um, all my weapons in. I'm just going to put um, this blaster in there for now, but you can fit, like, you can fit every weapon in there. I, I, do, I did try, I got every weapon in there fine, with, with a room just there. So yeah, it just closes up easily like that. But just for now, I'm just going to take that out. But you can see how it works. Easily just slip that down. And then another really cool part of this set we can do is there's a little oh, there's a little bit here, pull it down and um you get a speed up like it's a nice addition to the set. Oh, breaking on me. Hang on a minute, I'm just gonna fix sorry about that guys, I just had to fix it, but um yeah you do get like a swoop bike, which is from episode two when and I can look as the rescue's mum. But, um yeah, just again just to take a demonstration, I am gonna put Anakin in there. It's kind of realistic because he does go on one of these in episode, in episode two when he goes to rescue his mum. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly put him in there. Easily fits in there. There you go. And you can just go and um, easily does go back in there. Just slots in there. Pushes in and you just fold it back up. There you go, it just falls back up. And you can leave the figure in there next to it, close is fine. So that's a nice addition. And also, I forgot to show you, there's a handle in the middle. As you can see, which helps you um, pick it up. So you can play with it like. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You can pick it up without it breaking, and it's just easier. But yeah, this is incredibly heavy, you know, that's why you need the handle, even with one hand. It really does put a strain in your hand. But yeah, um. That's the set. Now I'm going to be showing you um, the spare keys. Just before I do go on to the spare keys, is, um, just for I'm um, showing you guys, you do get a brick separator in the set, which is a very nice. Because, um, I haven't got one of these. Plus, um, usually you have to pay about two quid for these, so it's very nice. Very addition to the set. Very happy about that. So now I've got a brick separator. Anyway, I'll go on to the main set pieces now. You do get brown rod. A light grey rod. No, that's dark grey. Sorry. Oh, you get two dark grey rods. You get a white rod. You get lots of rods. You get um four double-ended, or five black double-ended connector pieces. You get lots of those. You get um two shiny lightsaber holders. You get four lime green. One by one slanty pieces. You also get 
a um, slight grey antenna. Oh, I'm just organising them so I can show you some at the end. Two um, one ended black blue connector pieces. I should start with. Get them two short um, tan connector pieces. Get one double ended light grey connector piece. One short um, one one ended grey connector piece. Um, one blue one by one piece. One blue one by one stud. Two um, red flat studs. One red slimy piece. One light grey stud. One tan stud. One um, clear black flat stud. One um, clear stud. And you get one see through green stud. So, yeah, guys, that's all the spare pieces. Um, please pause and um, view all of them. But now I'm going to be showing you the manual. So here are the manuals, you can do get two quite hefty manuals. I'll show you the first one first. And of course you've got the screw and get on the back. So the, you, get, you do get nine lumber bags by the way. There's nine. And in the first manual there is, wait for it, 81 pages of building. This is a little one. I think they have all the figures on it, but I'll show you something else that has that on there at the moment. Like that, not at the moment, at the end. Oh, that's, I didn't see that's like a little poster for the sail barge and the desert skiff. I do have the desert skiff, by the way, guys. But, because the my um, other thing broke, I can't really do a review on it. But yeah, this is showing you the features that are also on the box. I'll be showing you to that, I'll be showing you that, don't worry, guys. You do get 75 pages of building on the second one, so you can add that up to the pages of building. Plus, it will show you the right feature and the little ways you set it up. So, yeah, those are the two manuals, they're both quite big, as you can tell, around 80 pages of building from each. Now, I'm going to be showing you the free poster. So, you guys, you do get a double sided poster. The first side I'm showing you all the minifigures in 2013. I'll quickly go over them all, pause it if you want to. Here guys, that's every man if you live in 2013. Now I'm going to show you the other side. Yeah, I'm going to jump cut it. So this is the other side of the poster. But this is probably the best side because it, um, it's very exclusive to the set. This side, um, you've got the gunship there landing. And all the people standing up fighting off the super battle droids. Plus there is one in the background and one blowing up. And there's the homeless spider droid there which i just done a review on so please check that out. Yeah, I've, done, I've recently done already on that, so please check that out, that's been uploaded. And there's a corporate nice time enjoy them in the process of filming that review. So, um, yeah, that's the poster you get, very nice. Um, it's very nice to get anything free, anything extra in the set. And this set you get an extra brick separate in a free poster, so you can't really complain, you know, that kind of makes it more kind of, um, even, even though, um, People may think, oh, 110 pounds, that's a lot of money. But then you think about it, you do get a really big shirt, you get some really cool mini figs. You get an extra big show price, you get a poster, so. Lego have really tried to make it worth the money. I think if Brick Separator wasn't in there, the poster wasn't in there, and you had less mini figs, it would be 100 pounds, but because they've added these extra things, they've had to jack up the price, but it's worth it, and guys, don't worry. But anyway, now I'm going to show you. Yeah, so here is the box. Um, it is. We'll see, like Star Wars, it's got the Yoda logo on it. Break it forward a bit. It's ages 9 to 14, set them up 75021. This, of course, the Rumble Pub, the gunship. So, there's their poster inside, which I showed you guys. Oops, sorry about that shadow hang on. Remove the light. There we go. Of course, you, um, you show showing all the mini figures here. Of course, get Anakin Padme, Obi Wan, Clone Trooper. I'm oh, sorry, clone pilot, my bad. And um, the clone trooper captain bus the super battle droids. But yeah, all of these are new but the super battle droids. And this set, oh, sorry, I'll move the light back. This set is definitely a clone army set. 
Um, because obviously you only get two super androids. They're pretty good charge cater for both sides. There's the homing spider droid is I mean it's definitely a droid set, this is definitely a Republic set. So obviously you get the clone trooper pilot, clone trooper captain, and um Padme, Anakin and Obi Wan, so you only get two super battle droids, so um yeah, the super battle droids are very outnumbered in this set, like the clones are in the homing spider droid set. But yeah, it just shows you the figures up there again. And now to the back. Um, there it shows you the handle, and there it shows you the missiles, and there it shows you that it all opened up, and there's a little battle going on. There's the designer's view, and it's showing you that those two bubble darts flip. There it's showing the sweet bike, and then there it's showing you the um, weapon storage compartment, and there it's showing a little battle scene with all the three like heroes and then on the side it's got the mini picture of course if you haven't seen my reviews already I already I always explain that that's if you want to see if you see it on the shelf if you, if you want to um, get access to it quickly people can just pick it up without even looking at the front of the box also I don't like this box because it has the weird opening where you have to push it up as you can see trying to put it back it has ripped the box so yeah this opening mechanism is horrible and my boxes have to suffer. And as you can see, just to prove, 109.99 of my good, good old money gone. But yeah, that's just this Republic Gunch. <laughs> I couldn't fit it on. Yeah, I'm just gonna give a quick overview of this set. Sorry, this is what was always gonna be a long review because this is the biggest set of this wave. But um, quick overview: 110 pounds. Is it worth it? Definitely. Um, if you have the money or if you're willing to spend that much. Is it is it the perfect set? Unless you're um, if you're making a droid army, I recommend staying away from this one. If you're like a huge fan of the clones, um, I know Lego Boy is. He probably um, kind of had a fanboy gasm when this set came out. But um, so I did as well. I was just like, oh my god, the gunship's coming back! Like this way, they're kind of bring about loads of the old sets, like the ATT, the gunship, the Corporate Lance tank droid, the spider droid, which I like because they haven't been made them in ages and. You know, I've always wanted a gunship. My old spider droids broke. My old Corporal Alliance tank droid I still have, but it's always nice to get another one. But, um, yeah, it's a very nice set. Um, if you want to give it a safe or an adult, if you want to surprise your kid for your birthday, um, it's a great set to get them. If you're a Star Wars fan, if you're a hardcore Star Wars fan as well, this is a great set to collect. In the future, this will probably be worth a lot of money. So definitely keep hold of it. And, um, Personally, I just got it because I, episode two is my favourite episode. This is probably the most iconic vehicle of the whole episode. Like most of the sets that came out recently are from episode two, the old one from the Clone Wars, and the old one from as well, well, there's one from the Old Republic, and there's one from the Clone Wars. I think all the rest are from episode two. So I don't know. There's one for episode six because of the sail barge. So um, yeah, that is the set, guys. Bye.